Our assignment is on the veterinary uses of the adenosyl citrate, otherwise known as Viagra. In normal circumstances, cyclic GNP is degraded to GNP by phosphodiesterase 5. This can be inhibited by drugs such as cerebral citrate, also known as Viagra. This causes a buildup of CGNP and this acts on protein kinase D dependent smooth muscle and causes relaxation and thus vasodilation. This can be used to treat disorders such as the famously known erectile dysfunction, although it does have other uses. PDE5 is found in reproductive organs and neurons. It is also found in smooth muscle cells, such as those seen in the heart and gastrointestinal system. There are some side effects in the eye. PDE5 is also found in the uterus of the U, which will be discussed later in this video. In this assignment, we look at how Viagra may improve fetal well-being in ill with IUGR. So, what is IUGR? It is known as intrauterine growth restriction. IUGR is secondary to placental insufficiency, which interferes with the proper development of the fetus. The use of sildenafil increases uterine blood flow, which improves fetal nutrient availability. This promotes fetal growth and therefore alleviates IUGR, which contributes to fetal well-being. This makes a happy sheep. Sildenafil citrate can be administered orally where it passes through the gastrointestinal system to the liver and undergoes first-pass metabolism. It can also be administered intravenously directly to the circulation. Elimination occurs via the metabolites in the feces and urine. Due to the widespread distribution of PDE5, sildenafil has other effects on multiple organ systems. It has a cardioprotective effect on the heart against ischemia reperfusion injury. It also has an effect on the gastrointestinal tract where it leads to muscular relaxation due to the inhibitory effects on the smooth muscle cells of the gastrointestinal tract. One of the side effects of sildenafil is that it leads to blood vision. Lastly, sildenafil along with nitric oxide and oxygen improve pulmonary perfusion by decreasing pulmonary vascular resistance. It also increases gaseous exchange by decreasing alveolar capillary membrane resistance. Sildenafil also decreases airway hyperreactivity. What would you do?